Hey everyone, my name is Rue and we are here. This is going to be week five against the Orlando Sogaleo. And we're playing against Banana, who is our rival, so we will play her twice during this season. She had the number one pick for the second consecutive year, and she picked up the Nagana Dell this season. I still feel like my team matches up reasonably well against the rest of her team. My team definitely likes to take it a bit slower, and I feel like that can work against uh, a team like hers, but we have to play this absolutely perfectly. We cannot give the Nagana Dell any turn to set up. Okay, I'm very excited and also very nervous uh, to see whatever she brings. We kind of built this team for Nagana Dell. We're going to see how well this works. I think I have enough. I can stand up to it, but we see the Absol, the Nagana Dell, Silvali, Delmise, Clefable, and Galvantula. So, all right. I know how much Banana likes her, her uh, Sticky Webs lead. So I feel like I have to make that play and lead with the Ampapom to potentially try to break that Sash. I know how much he loves that Sash lead. Um, the rest of the team is pretty much what I expected. I feel pretty good about this matchup. I feel pretty good about this matchup. I am kicking myself a little bit for not putting Gunk Shot on the Ampapon like I thought I should, but instead I dropped that for U-Turn, um, basically just U-Turn and Knockoff, mainly for the Absol and the Slowbro, which she didn't even bring Slowbro, which is wild to me. And make okay, sorry about that. Uh, we had a little bit of a moment where uh, I found out that one of my Pokemon did not have the correct item. Uh, I have to trade this over from a hey, Genning DS, and um, my Celesteela actually has Ground DMZ just to ensure the Oko off of Earthquake on the Nagana Dell. But we're, we agreed to go with same leads. Uh, just again, Epsol, Nagana Dell, Galvantula. Silvali, Clefable, and Delmise. Now, I did call it correctly that, um, I did call correctly the Galvantula lead, but, uh, it doesn't really change any of, like, the calculus here, because, um, I still really want to fake out, and she knows that I'm going to really want to fake out. But would that prompt a switch, and would that uh, cause me to go for U-turn? I'm still debating that in my head, and uh, I was just trying to figure out what was going on, so I didn't actually uh, get to figuring that out. But I guess we're gonna have to do something eventually. But uh, we're gonna have to decide right now. So uh, let's see if I can show the set here. Yeah, there you go. Fake out, double hit, knock off, and U-turn. Uh, again, knockoff and U-turn was mainly for the slow bro, which didn't even show up, which is concerning. But man, do I really think you're gonna switch? And we also did this last time, last season as well, with uh, a Chinchino that threatened the Bandit or the Focus Ash um, Galvangela lead. So does she know that I want to do that again? Does she know that I want to do that again? Because I so want to U-turn. What would she U-turn out into, though? Huh. She would U-turn out into the Delmise. Delmise is a perfect thing to add into. So what I want to knock off here... Yeah, I do. I really do. I'm hard calling the Delmise here. This could be super risky, but I want to hard call that Delmise. I think, I think she wants to catch me on this one here. I absolutely think she wants to catch me on this one here. And I think, I don't know, I could be completely wrong, but I've played Banana enough to, and I've watched her enough to know that um, this is a play she would want to make. Do we call that correctly? No, that's the Absol, which kind of sucks. Now, I do think, I'm pretty positive that we're max speed, so I believe uh, we're going to speed tie here, and a U-turn would have been fantastic here. A turn would have been fantastic here. I guess I should check which, whether I'm not at max speed, but I'm like 90% sure that I am. My speed is 183, which I'm reasonably certain is max. And uh, like I said, this is just going to be 
This is just going to be... Man, if anything, I should have gone for the fake out. I really should have gone for the fake out. Amp pom. At level 50. Yeah, 183 is correct. Um, I feel like a double hit would just take you out, but it... I, I mean, I feel like it's worth the risk on a... Oh, whoops. I'm in the... I'm in the summary here. I feel like double hit's worth the risk. I want... I really do want to risk that speed tie. Um... There goes the Mega Evolution. We're just gonna straight up speed tie, which is wild. I don't know... Why should we bring this in? It, it is honestly kind of wild to me. Goes for the Protect. Okay. I guess she's scouting? I don't know. I don't quite know. I guess she thought that I would switch out? But I don't really know why. Yeah, this Mega Epsol play just doesn't make a lot of sense to me at all. I mean, I guess I should count this just to know. Epsol. Mega Epsol. Against an Amber Palm. So, I don't know, does she want to risk the, the, uh, speed tie here against Mega Psalm level 50? I have to guess the double hit takes you out, like, Ample Palm? No, apparently not. I mean, I haven't done anything yet, I haven't added on Technician. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing minimum 105, assuming you're uninvested into your defenses, which I, I'm gonna assume. Again, is it worth that, that's, that, um... Oh, even U-turn takes you out from here. I feel like I have to U-turn, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna U-turn. Because I feel like there's a solid chance that you just switch out your superpower. Oh, heck. Alright. Well, that was not a good, that was not a good decision on my part. But... We do have an opportunity here, because you're at minus defenses here, or minus attack, right? Oh, I really want to go into my Mega Sceptile and click a thing, but I want to straight up just click Swords Dance, but there's too big of a chance that you have Play Rough. Okay, what if you do have Play Rough? <laughs> What if you do have Flavor Off on my Sceptile? Sceptile Mega. Flavor Off uh, does just short of 99, just short of 100%. Um, I do have a couple points in HP, and you are at minus one. Oh, but this doesn't have any investment in it, yeah, so. I just put in blank set. You are still at minus one, so we take one. I definitely take one, but then you sucker punch and I'm done. So I feel like... Hmm. Hmm. I could just go into... Sceptile and start leaf bleeding things. Or dragon clawing things would probably be better. Dragon claw here would straight up take you out. Uh, I believe I'm just 252. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go into... And I believe I'm adamant too, so adamant should do it. Adamant should do it here. Adamant's still a little bit of a roll with Leaf Blade. Now I really have to check to see whether or not I am maxed out on attack. My attack stat is 150 as a regular septile. As a regular septile, I'm at 150. I feel like... I'm taking way too much time. I'm really sorry. I'm genuinely really sorry. But yeah, 150 is max attack adamant. 
So when I make you Mega, with Leaf Blade, then yeah, that's, that's minimum 80%. That's a minimum 80%. You could Sucker Punch me, but then that would... Huh. You could Sucker Punch me, but then of course yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna go for that Leap Blade. I'm taking way too long. Oh, uh, once again, I am in the summary, so I have to go back. Mega Evolution and Leaf Blade. This is a fully physically offensive... Well, I, I just mentioned Max Attack Admin, but... This does have Swords Dance. Uh, I did pack Crunch just specifically. All right, I'm gonna be curious to see how much this does. Uh, yikes! Still did quite a bit. Thankfully, you do not live on one, so uh, taking out that fast threat does help out. But man, I really do wish that that um, opened up things a little bit more for my Amber Palm. But. I made a bad play. I made a bad play of uh, banking on that speed tie there. And now I just have to figure out what in the world I can do. I mean, especially about Galvantula. Galvantula really... I really left the door wide open for Galvantula to come in here. Although the Galvantula would have to pretty much bug buzz me right away. I could take that opportunity. I could give up the Sceptile just to... Uh, deal some damage, but man, that's dubious. Man, that's dubious. But I think I would have to do it at this at this point. Sceptile's not going to do a whole a whole lot for me. I have to take on Naganadel one v one with Swampert. Look, the situation's not great. <laughs> Ampa Palm would have been incredibly helpful. Ampa Palm would have been incredibly helpful in this situation. How comes it's so volleyball? What kind of Savali is this? If it's Steel type, which I kind of thought it is steel type it is steel type and I have nothing to touch this thing I have nothing to touch this thing with and I really want to go into Swamper but I can't really I feel like I would go into Cell Steel here right I could just start setting up rain yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna play out the game plan a little bit and go into my Politoed. I I do like having a linear strategy here, uh, which is clearly what I was going for with the whole rain situation. I brought all of my water types that can take advantage of the rain, but at the same time, I wanna I wanna be flexible, and I think I'm. Then obviously at this point, I'm I'm not doing that particularly well. I'm, I think I'm being a little bit too flexible. I need to stay to a plan at least a little bit. There's the Ice Beam. Are you Scarfed? Is that why you have this thing here? I mean, obviously you're not doing anything to me now. And I'm not sure if you know yet that I'm uh, pretty much max HP, max defense, or max special defense. But that information is definitely available to you now. Uh, let me think here. I feel like it has to be Scarfed, right? Base 95, yeah, Scarf would definitely um, threaten my Mega Sceptile. So, what would you switch into here? You're expecting a Scald, right? I mean, if anything, you're probably going to, out into Galvantula, which I can't do much about at all right now. Or you would go out into Delmize. <sighs> Either way, you're not staying in. They're not staying in. So I kind of want to Ice Beam expecting the Delmize to come in. I feel like the Naga Nadel is going to stay in the back for a while. I feel like the Naga Nadel is going to stay in the back for a while. So what does that mean for me right now? Alright. I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. Even if the Galvantula comes in, Parting Shot. Okay. Good play, good play. So you're not Scarfed. Then I don't... I don't really understand that Sceptile play. Well, I got... Alright. I guess... I guess we'll have to figure that out. Steel is a really odd type you bring. I got over my Kyurem, which I didn't bring. Okay, okay. Makes sense. In fact... 
most of my team resists uh, a steel type, a steel type Silvali. It's still going to have plenty of coverage for me, but the rain should help that out a little bit, and I don't know, just just my mix of types should help that out a little bit, but I don't feel great about my positioning here. I really don't feel great about my position here. I don't know what else you would want. Well, it's either going to be the Galvantula or the Delmas. It has to be. Um, Davy Jones. Yeah, so I did call that play. It didn't really matter too much because even if the Galvantula did come in, um, yikes. Okay, that's assault vested, right? I'm going into the Salt Steel straight away. I can't imagine that being anything but a Salt Vested. I mean, I know Politoed's not, like, the best, but... I mean, let's see. Delmise. Delmise on Politoed. There's po I, don't, I don't know, maybe Politoed is just bad. Um, hopefully I don't have, like, an adamant Politoed or anything. That would be uh, rough, or a Jolly Ball Eto, for all I know. I'm reasonably sure that it's, uh, calm. So let's see. On a blank set, Ice Beam should be doing a lot more. Assault Vest. No, and I'm gonna make you sassy as well. That's quad resisted. A sassy assault vest. Oh yeah, sassy assault vest is 19 to 22 percent, which looks just about right here. So I'm gonna have to assume that that's what's happening right now. Now I can air slash, but what would you go into on an air slash? Yeah, eventually would be the obvious play. Neutral air slash, fine. Not gonna tell is a possibility. Uh, Silvali is a possibility. Um, I wouldn't mind. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind going for the uh, Tectonic Rage on the Silvali to just get the Beast Boost, because uh, especially in rain, that would help a lot against the Not gonna Dell. But uh, I have to imagine. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I definitely think the Galvantula is coming in. Actually, if that Galvantula is coming in, then then the best play might just be Earthquake here, right? Because Gal, uh, I'm not going to be doing much more with Air Slash than. Let me see. Celesteela. I feel like Earthquake and Air Slash are going to do close to the same amount. Oh, I'm running out of time, like, real fast. Alright, I'm going to click Earthquake. I did it. There's a Withdrawal. But yeah, not doing too much more. In comes this thing. Actually, I should have gone Air Slash, because Air Slash does right around 50%. Does Heavy Slam bail me out of here? Yeah, that's right about what you'd expect. Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam does not do enough to bail me out of here. The only way I take this thing out is if I Tectonic Rage right now. The only way I can take this thing out is if I Tectonic Rage. Is it worth it for the Beast Boost? I mean, Celesteela can kind of just take over from here, in all honesty. If it gets the special defense raise, it can just kind of take over, and I think you and I think you want to take this free turn to um, go for a thunder or a thunderbolt. Probably thunder, yeah, because compound eyes, so it doesn't matter. Anything. How much is thunder doing in the end? I mean, I'm super special defensive. Thunder, and I am 252 HP. I don't remember the exact uh, special defense. I want to say it's like 172, and then Sassy, if I'm not mistaken. 
Um, that's doing just about 50%. I don't have recovery outside of Giga Drain. How important is, is it to take out this thing right now? Well, I'm not taking two Thunders, so I either have to switch out now or Tectonic Rage. I'm gonna Tectonic Rage. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Goes for the Sticky Web. Okay, Celesteel comes out relatively unscathed with a plus one. Had to spend the Z-move, but uh, given the Naganadel and the... and the uh, Silvali Steel, which I kind of wall a little bit, especially in rain, and the plus one, I should be okay. The Savali Steel is almost definitely going to have Flamethrower um, and or Fire Blast, and so is the Naga Dell. But again, I'm just hoping that this plus one special defense is going to see me through. I'm pretty much as specially defensive as you can be. Uh, this could be a complete waste. This could be a complete waste. Um, but Celestial Steel just kind of matches up well against everything. And of course, the rain stops right here. Of course. Okay. <sighs> Naga Dell is going to come in. And I have to just 1v1 the Naga Dell. I mean, I can with the plus one. I can 1v1 it with a plus one. And no matter what, even if you bring in the Savali Steel just to wall this thing, then my answer to Naga Nadel is still Swampert. I have a max special defensive Assault Vest of Swampert. Devastating Drake is doing, well, which I mean, in all, in all fairness, I guess you would bring the Inferno Overdrive. Which I did not count for at all. Uh, but that's me just being bad. Oh, would you parting shot here? You could parting shot me to heck and back. You can parting shot me to heck and back. Oh, that's awful. If anything, ugh, I just made a bad play. I clicked Earthquake too quickly. You could parting shot and go and get a free... Oh, you just go for the flamethrower. Okay. Parting shot into the Delmise would be a pretty great play right here because uh, you would get to see whether or not I stay in and then... And then... Oh, it's still a 50-50. Oh, this is really defensive. I'm gonna have to... We're, we're doing the same to each other. The same amount to each other. Neither of us have recovery. So that's a thing. This is my main answer to Clefable. What could take on Clefable and be on? Um, I have no idea what can take on Clefable and be on. How do I take this thing out? Especially with my. Let's see who has on my side of the field. That that also means that Lucario in rain is not going to Lucario. A Ludicolo in rain is not gonna be able to take outspeed the Naga Nadel. Alright, I'm just gonna click on Earthquake. Let's see what happens here. Another flamethrower. A burn here would really hurt me quite a bit. I could I could Call, I could make a little bit of a play. Is that a crit? That has to be a crit. No, that's not a crit. That's just a high roll. That's kind of wild. But this has to be a very defensive cell volley. This has to be a very defensive cell volley. Let's see. I'm going to assume max HP, max defense. Yeah, de yeah, definitely max HP, max defense. No, no. No, because I did a lot more on that second earthquake. Huh, so I don't know what's happening, in all honesty, but, um... I can, I can actually 1v1 this, but then at what cost? You get a free Naga Nadel switch. Which doesn't really matter, because Swampert's the play every time. Swamp press to play, and unless, oh my god, if Naga Nadel gets, like, energy wall, oh man, I, I did not think of that even a little bit. If Naga Nadel gets energy ball, then I actually kind of lose. Naga Nadel. I'm just going to look for any grass move that it gets. That is not even a thing that I thought about. Giga Drain? Oh, 
hidden power grass is the only grass move it gets, which is possible, but, um, would she do that? Would she do that? Yikes, man, I don't know. I, I kind of think not, I mean, I haven't, I haven't, uh, brought Swampert to anything yet, so I don't know, maybe Swampert's a little bit unexpected. Who knows, in all honesty. But... Man, I honestly don't know what's about to happen. If she does have the Hidden Power Grass... It's the only grass coverage that Nagata Del gets. If she does have the Hidden Power Grass... Well, I feel like you have to Dual Stab and Fire Blast, and then possibly, um... Dual Stab, Fire Blast, and... Probably Nasty Plot. It would take a lot for her to not bring Nasty Plot, given my, given how defensive my team can be. Out comes this thing. I don't know what you have to threaten me, really. But I can Air Slash this thing. Uh, I do have speed, which is neat. Can we force this thing? Uh, that would be kind of bad. Oh, no. I'm kind of sorry. I don't know. Were you going to knock me off? Because I... I mean, we, we've only seen the power whips so far. But... We've only seen the power whips so far. So, I'm gonna have to guess that, that the only other move was knock off. Okay, we actually had a bit of disconnection here, and uh, we're back to try to recreate it as best we could. Uh, we did a pretty good job. She's... Oh, I get the points again. So we agreed that she was gonna go for the power whip. Um, because at this point, 20 HP doesn't really matter, and, um... And, uh, it would be the closest to recreating it from before than, that we could do. Uh, but we're pretty much in the same situation again. Oh, uh, we do get another flinch, which... I mean, I guess, sorry, but I guess it was meant to be, I suppose. Um... Are we... We outspeed, there's no reason not to go for another air slash. Uh, I'm... There is a chance, it looks like to me, just visually, that she can take this, that Davy Jones can take this, I should say, and, um, it can hit me with something. I'm not sure what it would try to hit me with, but, um, because at this point, I think all I've seen was the power whip, but I'm gonna guess, like, knockoff or something. I would be surprised at Phantom Force, but, uh, knockoff is a decent possibility. I'd probably take me out from this, uh, spot either way. Um, but I do think we have a solid, I, I think we have a pretty solid chance of taking it out from here. It's gonna be a bit of a roll. I, let's see, here we go. Okay, we do take it out. That's, oh, it's a crit too. Yikes, that is super, it's kind of salt in the moon there. But, I believe that's our third East boost, is that right? Uh, cause we definitely took out, yeah, we took out Galvantula, Silvali, and the Delmize. So, we're in a decent shape right now, and am I wrong? Is she down to Clefable and Nagana Del? Am I wrong about that? that? That's a possibility. So, we've already been through this. Yeah, there's the Nagana Del. There's that Nagana Del. Okay. Now, I have to think about this. Well, first of all, this is where I'm kind of upset with myself for making this a a sassy Celesteela, because I believe if I wasn't a sassy Celesteela, yeah, I would outspeed the Clefable and be able to heavy slam it. I do kind of want to switch out, maybe uh, do something like, maybe try to claw my way back that way, but realistically I don't think there's really anything I could do here. I could just try to set up a range just for the sake of setting up a range. Uh, Clefable's probably going to have Fire Blast, so there's no use in preserving Celesteela. Yeah. Here's where Celesteela goes down. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. Uh, without... Ooh, the nasty plot. Okay. Okay, this could potentially be very, very bad. Uh, especially without the Tectonic Rage. That was literally the only way that I could Oko this, um... This Celesteela... Er, sorry, this, uh, Nagana Del. And, like, half our team's Assault Vested, so... Um... And a lot of our remaining team is Assault Vested, the, um, and the Swampert, which was the main uh, answer to this, is Assault Vested. 
So I guess we're just gonna have to see what we can do here, right? Because a devastating Drake would be pretty devastating. But again, it is a there is a very strong possibility that she is packing the Inferno Fire um, Inferno Overdrive, sorry, uh, for the Cell Stila. So I'm not quite sure how to interpret that yet. If that's the case, then I would be in a fantastic spot. I'd be in a fantastic spot. But, let's see here. Naganadel is now at plus two. I'm gonna have to assume 252 special attack. And, yikes, I'm really not in a good spot right now. Like, aggressively not in a good spot. But we will get to see... There's the Fire Blast. We will get to see what... Beast boost it is, which will, I guess, tell us a decent amount about whether or not it's modest. Speed rate. Okay, so it's not modest. I believe that's what that means. Um, at this point, we can go into Swampert. I mean, I guess, I guess let's start running some calcs here. I mean, it's gonna happen no matter what, so it, I'm not sure how much it really matters, but... I am very, very curious. I'm gonna give it max HP, max special defense. I believe we're sassy. On a plus two Draco Meteor. Now, if it's a Z Draco Meteor, then we get taken out. All right, I'm gonna go into Swampert and then try to switch out. Um, at this point, at this point, what's his face? Um, Sceptile doesn't do much for me at all. Actually, I guess Sceptile does a little bit for me. I'm gonna switch out because I'm so afraid of this Devastating Drake. If this Devastating Drake uh, hits me, then I am 100% dumb. I'm 100% dumb. So I'm gonna go into... I feel like I just have to give up Ludicolo here. I have to give up Ludicolo to this Devastating Drake. Ludicolo is not doing much for the rest of this match. Um, it kind of loses the Clefable matchup 1v1. So, forgive me, Ludicolo. Are we going to see the Devastating Drake? There it is. Okay. Z move is spent. At this point, there's no way that this Naganadel can take out my Swampert 1v1. And now we just have to figure out how in the heck we're going to take out this Clefable. Oh man, that had me so nervous. It had me so nervous. But even a plus two Draco Meteor is not going to take out my Swamp Birds. Unless you're modest. Oh, Christ if you're modest. Christ if you're modest. Then, 31% chance. 31% chance. But those are the chances that we have to take. Oh my god, alright. And now we're gonna have to look up whether or not Clefable gets Energy Ball or any nonsense like that. But we're just gonna straight up go for the Earthquake. I don't believe there's anything you can do. I mean, Hidden Power Grass would take me now. Do you have that Hidden Power? Well, no, you have Nasty Plot, right? So, you have Nasty Plot and Fire Blast. I'm gonna assume you have the, the Sludge Wave. I feel like you have to. There's the Draco. I'm pretty positive we take this. But I guess we just have to see. Oh, we take that a lot better than I thought. Why do we take that a lot better than I thought? She's not max special attack? Okay, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know how, how we took that. Because that's a neutral Draco Meteor. Did I miss something? Did something happen that I missed? <laughs> I mean, possibly. It's definitely possible that I just straight up missed something. Uh, I gotta have to watch that back. I don't know what I missed, but you definitely nasty plotted on me, right? Either way, now I have to figure out how I'm gonna break through this Clefable. At this point, there's nothing really I could do. We're assault vested, right? This is our set right here. Earthquake is our strongest move. I'm gonna have to hope that it does over half. Um, and then Sceptile can probably pick it up from there. 
I really would love to set up a sword stance with Zeptile, but that's just not going to be a thing due to the, um, just Moonblast destroying me at this point. Um, and Politoed can't really do anything, but it's a, I mean, at that point, that's splitting hairs because Ludicolo wouldn't be able to 1v1 this thing anyway. Calmite, okay, okay. Well, again, thankfully, um, our remaining guys are physical attackers, except for the Polytoke, but Polytoke well, is never going to do anything anyway. Um, I just have to hope that, th that this Earthquake and Leaf Blade combo can do something for me here. And this Clefable outspeeds me too. This Clefable outspeeds me too, so let's see. Now I have to- let's see if I can reverse engineer what kind of set this Clefable is. That's about- I'm gonna call that about 35%. So, at max HP, Earthquake's doing 39 to 46. Could be a low roll, that, that would look about right. But I'm gonna assume at least some defensive investment. Yeah, oh yeah, a little bit of defensive investment makes sense here. Um, do out speed, so there's no, really no point in trying to. There's really no point in trying to. Man, I don't know how to break through. Okay, so we have a, some idea of what this set is, right? So at this point, let's see how much we're doing with Sceptile. There's the Moonlight, of course. I should have called that and made that Sceptile switch. I definitely should have called- well, that doesn't do much for me anyway. Sceptile is... Max... Attack Adamant. With the Leaf Blade, has a high critical hit rate here. I And I knew I wanted to pack the Iron Tail, I just didn't. Leaf Blade is... Doing 40 to 50 percent. With Max Attack Adam and Leaf Blade. That stings. That stings quite a bit. So, I mean, it's pretty obvious. I have to keep you at a certain range here. But Politoed outspeeds. So does that do anything? I guess it does. Because a a Scald in the range should do... Well, no. We have two Calm Mines up, so that's not even a thing anymore. That's not even a thing anymore. I have... I genuinely have to, uh... I genuinely have to crit with... With, um, Leaf Blade. I genuinely have to crit with Leaf Blade. There's another comma I don't... I should be I should be making these calls. I have to make these calls in order to have any chance here. Wait. Wait a second. Wait one gosh darn second. I believe. I believe my I keep saying the cargo. Yes. My my Politoed. I call it Lucario because it's named Lucio. My Lucar my Lucio has Encore. I can Encore you into Calm Mind or or Moonlight. I should be outspeeding here. I should oh, I'm st in sticky webs. No. No, I forgot about the sticky webs. I honest to god forgot about the sticky webs. I honest to god forgot that. Oh, but you do less in the rain! You, ro you recover less in the rain! Oh my god. Politoed is the answer. Politoed is the answer. I'm gonna click Encore. I'm gonna click Encore. I feel like you have so many Calm Mines up, you're just gonna try to Calm Mine even further up. Realistically, you don't have to. If anything, you would Moonlight here, right? If anything, you would Moonlight here.
and on pulling you into moonlight would would um give me the opportunity to set up a sword dance, possibly two. I think I need two in this situation. So it's definitely Oko. Oh, I heck I need two. Yeah, there's no planet on which I don't need to. The Sceptile set is so bad! If I had the Iron Tail... There's the Moonlight. I'm gonna get Encore into that. I'm gonna get Encore into that. If I just had the Iron Tail, then... I would just... Then I would only need one Source Dance, but... I'm gonna... Be super sure about how Encore works, because I think it's... Encore Pokemon. I believe you're locked into that for three turns. Encore lasts for three to seven turns. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna straight up get get up two sword stances. And we're gonna hope that does a thing. And hopefully this isn't like some super fast fable that just outspeeds me after sticky webs, which would be nuts. So there's turn one of Encore. Oh, Encore lasts exactly three turns uh, as of generation five. Or no, as of generation six. So that's two. So I go for a sword stance here. Encore ends this turn, and then I go for the plus four leaf blade, and that should be it. That should be it. Man, doesn't doesn't set that one poison jab? Why did it give you poison jab? I brought crunch just for the dang slow bro, but I had leaf blade. That was a dumb play. I, I, there was something else that I brought Crunch for, I just don't remember what it was. I know there was something else, I just don't remember what it was. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. After all this... After we get to plus four... We might just have it. I believe Moonlight and then Encore ends. And then plus four Leaf Blade. Should hopefully do this. Does Mega Sceptile get this Oko? That's an Oko. We take this match. Oh my god, that was so stressful. After a disconnection. But with that, thank you guys so much uh, for watching and thanks to Banana for the match. But it's not over. It's absolutely not over. We will be playing each other again, actually, in just about two weeks. So definitely, definitely stick around for that. And and look, I'm the guy that's got to take on Nagana Dell twice in the year. So I'm definitely going to take this win, but definitely got to look towards the future as well. But with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be once again out.